everybody and welcome to the Whovian's Choice Awards, the first, and if we're being honest, probably last in this format. Before we jump into the proper awards, thank you I think is in order? In the initial nominations there were over 200 people nominating their favourite creators, and for the voting there were over 700 people voting. That's insane. Admittedly, there might have been more if I didn't make it so you had to put uh, a nomination or vote in every category, but 700 still pretty bloody good. So thank you to everyone that nominated and thank you to everyone that voted. It was very interesting and very entertaining to watch all the votes and nominations come through. Some people I knew, some people I didn't. It opened me up to new creators, which is always fun and kind of the goal of both this and the community show. Now for the rules of how the winners were selected because I tweaked it a bit, but I think you'll agree it's for the best. Let's use me as an example. Say I was nominated in about seven categories and I won about half of those. That's not fun for anyone else. <laughs> Here's what I do. Say I won the most in the cosplay category. That one would be mine. For the other categories I theoretically won in, we ignore that win and we focus on the second place as that winner. But that's not fun enough. I want more winners, goddammit. So I have made it so every category has two winners. The two with the most votes. Again, it's just so more people have a chance of winning and spreads the joy, you know? But one last thing. If you did not win or if you did win, you're all winners, really. Because think about it. Someone had to put your name forward for you to get in. I mean, even for the winners, there's not like a prize. <laughs> it's just someone saying, you did it. And like, yeah, <laughs> it's all for fun. Let's spread some joy. So let's kick off the Whovian's Choice Awards with the acting categories first. Starting off, best actress in an audio series. Before I hand over to the guest host, here's everyone who didn't get into the top 10 nominations, but everyone deserves a mention, don't they? Kate Lassman, Jess Hicks, Issy Walton, Livy Douglas, Jess Darnell, Lauren Wilson, Imasha, Eclipse Strasser, Felicia Molyneux and Jenny Littman. One thing I kept hearing back from my guest hosts are uh, pronunciations, so apologies for myself and others in case we get anything wrong. We're only human. But enough of me, let's move on to the first guest host. Here is Katie Haynes. Hey Jack, hey everybody. Thank you so much for being here tonight and thank you Jack for having me and for giving me one of the best compliments I received in 2021. I can fully go behind being a live cartoon character. I appreciate it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I am so glad to see it. Listen, I know it's really last minute, but I need Gregory to stay here for a few days. I'll clean up after him, but I'm telling you, working on the tablets with the baby Stegosaurus walking around is not ideal. Yeah, I've got no problem with it. Look at you. Oh, dolled up and shining like a self rax galaxy. I've never seen this dress. What's all this about? Oh, thanks. It's actually for the Whovian's Choice Awards. That's tonight? Yeah, I'm presenting for Best Actress in an audio series. Can I help? In someone, please. Can I help? Do you want to read out the winner? I will get changed! The nominees for Best Actress in an audio series. Amber Smith as Alex for Applestone Productions. Laura Selwood as Ella Fitzallen for the 12th Doctor audio series. Alia E. Tori as The Ronnie for Doctor Who Remnants. Chelsea Lagan as Elizabeth Newman for Overton Productions. Louise Gubbins as Jenny for Brown Productions. Abby Louise as Jenny Flint in Before Vastra. Joe Edings as Venus Flint in An Angel Goes to War. Laura Jane Hunt as Ace McShane in Doctor Who Dark Dimension. Jess Hicks as Wren Underwood for Timegate. And Tara Von Dyke as Bernice Summerfield for Security Kitchen Productions. And the winner for Best Actress in an Audio Series is... I'm back. You look great. Hey, if being married to River Song has taught me one thing, well, two things really. Number one, most museums don't have the security they need. Two, always keep a tuxedo and bow tie on hand. Wanna read out the winner? Oh yes, please, thank you. And the winner is... I love it, even got a little card very good on you. We got two winners! Brilliant! Oh, congratulations to 
Dr. Laura Jane Hunt as Ace McShane in Doctor Who Dark Dimension and Amber Smith as Alex in Applestone Productions audio series. Congrats to the both of you! Thank you, Katie, and congratulations to Amber and Laura for your wins. Well deserved. Moving on to Best Actor in an audio series, here are all the nominees that didn't quite make the top ten. I feel like the announcer in Strictly Come Dancing. Craig Revel Horde, Sean Hughes, Jules Starn, Daniel J. Patton, Dan Peck, Billy Garrett John, Michael Gibbons, Alex Baxter Scott, Jed T. E. Rhodes, Richie Reviews, Jeevan John, Ewan McDonald, Jordan Cottle, Joshua Griggs, Matthew Moorcroft, and Matthew Toffolo. And to announce the top ten and the two winners, here's Jordan Cottle from Timegate. Wait, you were one of those in the list. Well, now I feel awkward. Oh, hello everybody. Gosh, it's half past 11. It's way past my bedtime, but I've stayed up late especially because Jack Reeves, you know Jack Reeves, don't you? Yeah? Come on, of course you do. Jack Reeves has invited me to host the award for Best Actor in an Audio Series. I mean, how could I pass that up? I'm very, very grateful for that. And, you know, audio is a medium that's very close to my heart, being an audio producer myself, and the ability to bring a character to life purely through voice and uh, immerse your audience in that character and in that world purely through sound is, is, is a highly skilled thing to do. And all the nominees on this list have that skill. And more importantly, they all have a great and infectious passion for doing that and for being in noisy Doctor Who stories, which is, which is great. But there can only be one winner, or indeed, two. So, without further ado, the nominees are Sebastian Brown as the 15th Doctor for Brown Productions, Ryan Formosa, I'm very sorry if I mispronounce anyone's name, oh my gosh, I'm not trying to offend anyone. That being said, Ryan Formosa as the Doctor for Applestone Productions, Richie Reviews as the Richie Doctor for Who Reviews, Ben O'Neill as the 8th Doctor in Angels of Station 2964. Luke Lane as the Lone Dalek for Vocal Lab Productions. Ross Jacobs as the Master in The Disciple. Dominic G. Martin as the Architect for Doctor Who Remnants. Chris Walker-Thompson as Oliver Hawkspur in Doctor Who Dark Dimension. Matt Chambers as Doctor Who in Mirror Mirror. And Guillaume Baby as the 12th Doctor for the 12th Doctor fan audios. Now then, the winners. Drum roll, please. Very good. That's sounding lovely, except you on the sofa. You could be doing a lot better. The winners are Luke Lane for The Lone Dalek for Vocal Lab Productions. And Ben O'Neill as the 8th Doctor in Angels of Station 2964. Enjoy your award, chaps. <laughs> Although, it has to be said, every single person on that nominee list is very much deserving of an award because they're all brilliant. Thank you so much again for having me, Jack. Uh, thanks to the community show. Thanks to you for watching. Everyone have a lovely Christmas. Have a very, very happy new year. Stay safe. Be kind to each other. Thank you, Jordan, and congratulations to Luke and Ben. Well deserved once again. I'm going to have to think of different things to be saying. <laughs> but for now, Best Supporting Actress in an Audio Series. Here are the nominees that didn't quite make it in. Catherine Rasmussen, Kimberly Chu, Katie Haynes, Ellie, aka TARDIS Monkey. It was mostly put as TARDIS Monkey, alright. Rosie Haler, Emily Meir, Kestin Howard, Anastasia Vlachapaolo, Kate Lassman, Laura Jane Hunt, Jenny. I wasn't sure who Jenny was, someone just put Jenny. I, Jenny, well done. I wish I knew who you were. And Louise Gubbins. And to announce the top 10 and the winners, it's Nick Briggs. Wait a minute, no it's not. It's previous winner, Luke Lane. Hello everyone, my name is Luke Lane and I will be announcing Best Supporting Actress. Now obviously we tend to go towards the leading man and the leading lady. However, it is without the supporting actors and actresses that we cannot have a story. So without further ado, Let's read off the nominations, shall we? For Best Supporting Actress in an Audio Series. The, domina the nominations are Abby Louise as Jenny Flint in Venus Flint and Angel Goes to War. Alia E. Tori as Missy in Restoration of the Master. Tina Peters as Five for Future Selves. 
Lauren Lee as Susan McMartin for Before Vastra. Hazel F. Ash as General Jagara in Homo Ultras. Lizzie A. as Dark Alex for Applestone Productions. Gretchen Michaels as Sarah in Werewolves of Liverpool. Kenna DeValore as the female Cenobite in Hell and the Ronnie. Jess Hartman as Isabel DeFries in Doctor Who Deceit. And Sophie Weller as Sophie in Beginnings of Battle. And the winner of Best Supporting Actress is... Kenna DeValore as the female Cenobite in Hell and the Ronnie. And Gretchen Michaels as Sarah in Werewolves of Liverpool. Congratulations to all the nominations and congratulations to our two winners. Thank you, Luke, and congratulations to Kenna and Gretchen for your respective wins in it. Moving on to Best Supporting Actor in an Audio Series. And here are the nominees that didn't quite make the cut, but are still terrific in their own right, don't get me mistaken. George Guidera, Dominic G. Martin, Simon Fisher Becker, yeah, really, because he was in Venus Flint, and Sebastian Brown. Commiserations to you four, but to announce the top 10 and the two winners, I hand you over to impressionist mastermind, Chris Walker Thompson. <laughs> oh, hello. I was talking to no one, which is most of my job, really. My name is Chris Walker Thompson, and it's been a pleasure to be here today um, presenting one of the awards in the Whovian Choice Awards, which I think is a great idea and uh, a good bit of fun. And there's a lot of good nominees. For those who don't know who I am, I do a lot of voice work. You might know me in the Doctor Who area from either TikTok things um, or indeed as the voice of Patrick Troughton. But anyway, enough about that. <clears throat> Why am I recording in this studio? Which uh, looks a bit bare, doesn't it? Well, that's because I've had to move all of my Doctor Who DVDs downstairs because I have an 11 month old son who likes to throw them off the, the uh, shelves and destroy them. The, se <laughs> the season 18 box set is well and truly buggered. But anyway, enough about me let's see what we've got so i'm going to present today the best supporting actor in an audio series and our nominees are anthony richard Kirvin as the master for applestone productions matthew moorcraft as george for brown productions matt barrett as mr bryant in before vastra john n harper as darren kelly for overton audios Silas Fox as Heath Lodgins in Tales from Scarrow. Brandon McCaffrey as Six and Seven for Future Selves. Oliver Martin as the narrator for Dr. Disco. Damien McDevitt as Mr. Rogers in Uncharted Past. Marcus Cotton as the musician in Such Stuff as Dreams. Philip Hawkins as Maurice Bentley in Phantom of the Daleks. Some very good contenders there. Um, I don't have an envelope to open. We live in a digital world, so I've got it on here instead. I'll do this in Trouton's voice. Yeah, should I do Trouton's voice? Yeah, all right, let's go on. And the winners are Philip Hawkins as Maurice Bentley in Phantom of the Daleks and Anthony Richard Kirvin as the master for Applestone Productions. Congratulations, so a very good, very good, jolly good fun. Anyway, thank you very much, Jack, for inviting me to host this. This has been bizarre, I'm pretty sure. Um, but I uh, hope um, everyone has a wonderful Christmas and a happy new year. And hopefully we can all meet up in, a, in a better circumstances. Thank you, Chris. Still waiting for the invitation to come on your Impressions podcast. But well done to Philip and Anthony. Well done. Moving on to Best Actress in a Live Action Series. There are no runners-up this time. Exciting stuff. It's all to play for for these five nominees. I now hand you over to audio creator and genius, Rassilon Productions. And they all lived happily ever after. Oh, hello. My name is Rassilon Productions and I am a guest host on this, well, this incredible uh, YouTuber award show for some of the best people in this community. Now, oh, hello. Uh, I'm going to be hosting the best actress in a live action series. And there are five nominees. So, the first nominee is Ellie Hallett as the Echo Doctor in Echo's End. The second nominee is Abby Jameson as Jenna in Echo's End. 
The third nominee is Annabella Greaves as Isabella Cooper for MB in Homeland. The fourth nominee is Beth Rutland as Angel in Torchwood 2000. And the fifth nominee as the Doctor in Echo's End is Emma Whitehouse. The winners, winners, are Beth Rutland as Angel in Torchwood 2000 and Ellie Hallett as the Echo Doctor in Doctor Who Echo's End. Congratulations and thanks Jack for letting me host this short segment. And uh, yeah, still got this by the way. Thank you and have a great rest of your award show. Thank you to Rassilon Productions, aka Rory Guest, only the cool people know his real name. And well done to Ellie and Beth, congratulations. Moving on to Best Actor in a Live Action Series. Get ready for a lot of people who played the Doctor. <laughs> Once again, there are no runners up this category. It is up to nine separate nominees and to announce those nine as well as the top two winners. I hand you over to George Gaidira. Hello everyone, it's time for the results for the best actor in a live action series and I'm your host, George Gaidra. Now we have nine nominees, so let's see who we have. Callum Houston as the Doctor for MB in Homeland. Joe Street as the past Doctor in Echo's End. Nathan Carter as the Doctor for NTC Pictures. Rudin Roper as Jack Cascada in Torchwood 2000. Samuel Grant as the Doctor in Doctor Who Welcoming. Samuel Moore as the Doctor for MB in Homeland. Phoenix Smith as the amazing Doctor in The Timeless Room. Jed T.E. Rhodes as the Doctor for Instability Productions. And finally, Ewan McDonald as James Lowe in Doctor Who Welcoming. And now, people of the universe, please do attend carefully as I give the results. The winner, or should I say winners, are Joe Street as the past Doctor in Doctor Who Echoes End and Ruben Roper as Jax's Kader in Torchwood 2000. Congratulations to you both. Thank you, George, and congratulations to Ruben and Joe. Well deserved. If people are wondering, by the way, how I selected the guest hosts, uh, what I did was went through my messages, see who I've been in contact with recently about upcoming things or previous things, and I spammed them. Every single one asking if they wanted to do it. Can't say it didn't work, though, so... No regrets. <laughs> I don't recommend doing that yourself, though. I only did it because I knew them. Uh, I knew they'd probably be up for it. So, yeah, d please don't spam people. No one likes that. What was my point? Moving on to Best Supporting Actress in a Live Action Series was my point. I'm very good as a host. Good at keeping things on track. Do you like this suit, by the way? I kind of suit a tux, don't I? Oh, and once again, there's only five nominees. My goodness, no runners-up in the live action categories. It's... Terrifying. But to announce those top five nominees, as well as the two winners, it is Broke Cannon's own Sam Davis. I've dreamed of this moment all my life. The night where I get to host the Whovian Choice Awards and award the best supporting actress in our live action series. It's here, in the bedrooms of 20-somethings given our internet awards, that the true trophies are awarded, such as, um, second Rayleigh diving bronze. So, oh. Just as a reminder for our five nominees, we have from Harry Thompson as the Deacon in MB and Homeland, Imjin Bennett as Jessica Williams from MB and Homeland, Madeline Lewis as Elaine Rebop from MB and Homeland, Sabine Westrup as the Doctor in Torchwood 2000 and Sally Dean as Daisy Lethbridge-Stewart in Doctor Who Echoes End. I know who I voted for, but this is a diplomatic ceremony. One of these nominees is getting Nickelodeon slimed. Five nominees, two winners, one industry plant. And our first winner is... Sabine Westrup as the Doctor in Tortured 2000. And our second winner is... Sally Dean as Daisy Lethbridge-Stewart. Also, everybody wins. Disclaimer, for technical slash legal clarification, everybody does not win the 2021 Whovian's Choice Awards. Thank you, Sam. It's weird calling you Sam and not just Davis, because I'm used to calling you Davis. And congratulations to Sabine and Sally for your wins. Moving on to Best Supporting Actor in a live action series. Small side note, I know people had a few issues with the Whovian's Choice Awards, but one I admittedly didn't foresee is the genderedness of it all. You know, you have 
your, your best actor, your best actress. I didn't think about that going into it, so apologies if that seems discriminatory. It was not my intention. All of the criticisms of the Whovian's Choice Awards as it is now will be recognised and fixed next year, hopefully. But that's next year's problem, so best supporting actor in a live action series. I hand you over to the one, the only, the man, the myth, the legend, the one who keeps raising a redonkulous amount of money for charity. Seriously, it's Mr. Tardis. Hey folks, this is Mr. Tardis, Whovian, live streamer, podcaster, 32 inch vertical jump, and I'm very happy to be here at the Who Community Awards by Jack Reeves of The Community Show. Thank you so much to Jack for having me here to present the awards for Best Supporting Actor in a Live Action Series. So before we go any further, let's remind ourselves on who the nominees are. Alan Parsons as the Master in Doctor Who Welcoming. Mark Bray as Dylan Fester for MB and Homeland. Will Campbell as Will in Torchwood 2000. Chase Suttles as Harry Schwartz for Teeb 2 Ben Lowell as the Master in Echo's End. And the winners are, yes, you heard that right, winners, Ben Lowell in Doctor Who Echo's End and Will Campbell in Torchwood 2000. So congratulations to all the nominees. Congratulations to our winners as well. Hope you folks are enjoying the show. And I'll see you next time. Thank you, William, a.k.a. Mr. Tardis. Only cool people know his name. <laughs> and congratulations, of course, to Ben and Will. Well deserved! I was supposed to snap, but my hand's getting sweaty. There we go. Now, live action. Get out of here for now, because we're moving on to the animated ones. As there was not a lot of nominees, full stop, for the actor and actress of animated series, I've decided to combine the supporting and actor-actress ones together. So, it's best actress and supporting actress for an animated series first, hosted by the one, the only, it's bloody well Matthew Toffolo, isn't it? It is with great pleasure that I announce the nominees for the next award. Ah, oh, thank you very much. That was for me, isn't it? That's for Best Cos Seventh Doctor Cosplay. No? N no, no, the uh, cosplay has already been, been and gone, mate. Well, I missed it then, so I, did I win? No, no, you weren't even in the nominees. I wasn't in the nominees. Look, I mean, look at my good costume. Yeah, well, it took me 16 years to get this right. More than that. Oh, well, I'm sorry, you didn't put your name forward. Oh. This, is, right. this is for um, best, best Actress in an Animated Series. Well, not an actress. Well, no, and you're not in an animated series. No, not, no. Ah. So anyway, mm. Best Actress in an Animated Series. The nominees are Alia E. Torrey as Amy Pond in Emperor of the Daleks, Izzy West as Jules in The Restless Warrior, Olympia Turner as Annette in Amira 3, and Becca Tizard as the 13th Doctor for Mondas Productions. And the winner is... Or should I say, the winners are Alia E. Tori as Amy Pond in Emperor of the Daleks and Becca Tizard as the 13th Doctor for Mondas Productions. Okay, as of recording this, I've only received a handful of the uh, guest host footage. Matthew Toffolo. Fantastic. <laughs> for the skit, for the tux. Fabulous. Yeah, I didn't ask him to do that, but did it anyway and I respect that but thank you to Matthew and congratulations to Alia and Becca well deserved wins on both accounts once again no runners up for best supporting and actor in an animated series exciting stuff it's down to nine and to announce those nine it's the person who got their footage in first so I respect him it's Josh Carr of the Who New podcast hello I am Josh Carr from Who New a Doctor Who podcast and I'm very, very honoured to be here to present the award for the best actor in an animated series. So, without further ado, the nominees are 3D Doctor Who as the Daleks in Infiltration of the Daleks, Alex Baxter Scott as Absalom Dak in Nemesis of the Daleks, Kane on Abel as everyone in poorly animated Doctor Who, Luke Lane as the Cyber Leader in Restoration of the Cybermen. Marcus Cotton as the Lobry in a Ground Zero motion comic. Miles Taylor as Rowan in The Restless Warrior. Rob Jones as the Eighth Doctor for Mondas Productions. Tom Walker as the Doctor in A Debt to the Death. And Harry Lapine Williams as a Doctor in Omira 3. 
fantastic nominees there. And usually I'd say there can only be one winner, but the winners are 3D Doctor Who as the Daleks in Infiltration of the Daleks and Kane on Abel as everyone in poorly animated Doctor Who. Congratulations. I know the whole shtick of this is that there are two winners, but this is the only one that actually tied. This is the, the, the Kane and 3D Doctor Who had the exact same amount of votes by the end and it was close. It was so close. But congratulations, of course, to 3D Doctor Who and Kane Unable. Well deserved. Now we're gonna go back up the top of the nomination slash voting list and do best audio. But before we jump in, here are the runners up. I know this one has runners up. Fun. The Game of Rassilon, Rise of Versurus, Key of Alika, The Queer Doctor, Omira 3, Timeless Tales, Doctor Who Evolution, Aimless Wanderings, Bigger on the Inside, Man at Desk Productions, Jeevan John, wait that's just a person, hang on, Gormako, Dark Light Films, Mastermind, The Man on the Hill, and the Disciple. And to announce the top 10 best audio productions, as well as announce the two winners, of course. You know him, you love him. He reviews stuff and he's been opening the advent calendar, which has been making me giggle away. It's Philip Hawkins. Hi, I'm Phil and I'm here to announce the winner of the best audio production in the Whovian's Choice Award. Radio drama and audio drama is a Subject that is very close to my heart, I, I love it dearly, so I'm very pleased and happy that Jack has asked me to um, announce the winners for this award. Just a quick reminder of the nominations before we get to the winner. So, nominated in this category were The Tears of Skasis by Applestone Productions, Doctor Who Remnants Hell and the Rani by The Who Chaser, The Orb of Rassilon by Brown Productions, before Vastra Volume 1 by TT Productions, Toxology by 12th Doctor Fan Audios, Venus Flint and Angel Goes to War by Foxhole Films, Doctor Who Dark Days Return to Lungbarrow by Rassilon Productions, Doctor Who Dark Dimension by Pharos Features, Such Stuff is Dreams by Spectral Horizons, The Crimson Hunter Volume 1 by Overton Audios. So without further ado, let's get to the winner. I even, look, I've got a, I've got an envelope. It says winner on it. I've, I'm taking this seriously. I'm even wearing a suit. So let's find out who the winner of this is. This is winner on the inside too. The winners of Best Audio Production 2021 in the Whovian Choice Awards are Doctor Who Dark Dimension by Pharos Features, AKA Billy Garrett John, and Doctor Who Remnants Hell and the Rani by Who Chaser, aka Dominic G. Martin. Both have G in their middle name. Hmm. Congratulations to both of you for winning this award. They are both great audio dramas. I recommend checking them out. And of course, the other eight nominations on the list as well. See you soon. Congratulations to Pharos Feature and Who Chaser for your wins. Well deserved on both accounts. Moving on to best live action production. If you can believe this, there is no runners up for best live action. It's peculiar. But to announce the top nine nominees and the two winners, it is cosplayer legend and memester. <laughs> it's Jude Lavis. Well, would you look at that? Best live action production. Lots of amazing nominees. We have nine of them. That wasn't nine, that was one. Nine of them. We have The Roots of Scaro by MB and Homeland. We have Torchwood 2000 Part 2 by Fortune Vega Studios. We have Doctor Who Echoes End by The Confused Adipose. Gateway by WH Entertainment. Doctor Who Welcoming by Alliance Cinema. Doctor Who Amazing The Timeless Room by Phoenix Smith. Standby by Instability Productions. The Last Stand by NTC Pictures. Every episode of Popular Time Travel Show by Alistair Beckett King. And in here, we have the winners. You have £200,000 of outstanding unpaid tax. Oh, uh, the winners. Doctor Who Echoes End by The Confused Adipose and Torchwood 2000 Part 2 by Fortune Vega Studios. Congratulations, some wonderful nominees, and on to the next one. 
A big thank you to Jude, and congratulations are in order for Fortuna Vegas Studios and the Confused Adabos team. <gasps> Both well deserved. Really need to stop doing all these in one continuous breath. I could never do theatre again. Now for the best animated production. There are a few runners up here. Here we go. Let me read them to you now. Special bedtime story. <laughs> Minecraft Doctor Who by Alex slash The Rebel of Time. The Marvelous Adventures. And Doctor Who Adv... And that's fallen over, isn't it? Oh. And Doctor Who Figure Adventures Series 3 by The Who Editor. And to announce the top 10 nominees as well as the two winners, it's the fabulous Ivy Hanover. I don't know why I had to flop the hair. Ivy Hanover. <laughs> hosting the Whovians Choice Awards. I will be announcing the category of Best Animated Series, and now I will be announcing the nominees. All right, the nominees for Best Animated Series include Infiltration of the Daleks by 3D Doctor Who, Omira 3 by Who Reviews, Spare Parts Animation by The Real, and I'm going to pronounce this wrong, <laughs> Chris, and Doctor Who Figure Adventure Series by RT2000, Reflection by Josh Murphy Studios, The Restless Warrior by Tailored Vision, DWP Shorts by Doctor Who Poop, Ground Zero Motion Comic by Josh Snares, Poorly Animated Doctor Who by Kane Unable, and lastly, Power of the Mechanoids by Dalek Prime Productions. Before I announce the winners, I want to give a really big shout out to all the nominees. Thank you guys for lending your time, your creativity, everything you have into these creations you've made. You should be really proud of yourself. I know I'm proud of you and I know the rest of the community is just as proud. Whether you win or not, you've done something really, really cool and just take some time to reflect on that and be proud of yourself and your creation. And now for the winner, the Infiltration of the Daleks by 3D Doctor Who and Doctor Who Poop Shorts by Doctor Who Poop. Congratulations, you guys. Again, be very proud of yourself. And I want to give a quick thank you to uh, Jack from the Community Show for inviting me to announce this category. Um, I'm very honored to be given the opportunity to say the words Doctor Who Poop Shorts unironically. To everyone watching at home, have a great holiday season, stay safe, happy, and healthy, and that's it. Thank you, Ivy, and congratulations to Doctor Who Poop and 3D Doctor Who for your wins. Excellent. <laughs> Sorry, that was more cyber leader than Tom Baker, wasn't it? Excellent. Moving on, now what is an audio, live action, or animated series slash adventure without music? So let's do best original score. The runners up are... Hudson Music for Dark Days, and technically my theme, hell yeah, but no, that doesn't count. Sorry, Harry. <laughs> Barnabas Sharp Productions for Ground Zero, Alex Baxter Scott for Destiny of Mondas, and Jed T.E. Rhodes for Various. Oh yeah, if you ever hear me or anyone else say Various, it just means they were nominated for so many different projects they've done, it's just easier to condense them. <laughs> And to announce the top 10 and the two winners, it's none other than someone who the Whovian's Choice Awards will be nothing without. It's Joe Eddings. Branching out into the world of music is one of the hardest things someone can do. I know I can't do it. <laughs> um, so the fact that these scores brought us so many feelings, to feelings of dread, to feelings of hope, to feelings of sadness and happiness, just shows how much music has an influence on the things that we take in. Whether it be a movie or just an audio series, whether it be one of the big names or maybe a new creator coming up, music makes all the difference. You know, how about I cut the crap <laughs> and I get to the things you came here to see, right? All right, so your nominees are Ryan Formosa, Applestone Productions, James York for Venus Flint and Before Vostra, Dylan O'Hara, Jack Gydra, Terry Fairchild and Thomas Hartwell for the 12th Doctor Fan Audios. Three years younger, Doctor Who, Echoes End. Olivia Crawford, Omira 3. 
Dalekium, Various Themes, Anthony Tremaine, The Lost Soldier, Dominic Lowe, Silver Maple, and Isaac Heeks for Doctor Who Remnants, Christopher Eden for A Restless Warrior, and your 2021 winner of the best, sco or best original score is James York, Venus Foot on Paternoster Row, and Three Years Younger, Doctor Who Echoes In. I want to congratulate all the nominees, and we look forward to seeing you next year. Thank you, Joe, and congratulations to James York and Three Years Younger. Your scores were Mwah! music to my ears, quite literally, because it's music. God, I'm clever. The name's Reeves. Jack Reeves. Dana! Keeping with the musical theme, best original Doctor Who theme. It is really a testament to the original composer, Delia Derbyshire, that this one theme, this one composed theme, can be reworked and squidged and sped up and slowed down and orchestrated so many different ways and still slap! Ow! Here are the runners up. Doctor Who fun page for the Ritchie Doctor. Jed T.E. Rhodes for various. Luke Crichton for Dark Dimension. Luke Millen, Nerd Den, and George C. Music. And to announce the top 10 nominees and the two winners, I'm gonna hand it over to Ruben Roper of Fortuna Vega Studios. Hi, I'm Ruben Roper, and I'm going to be presenting the award for Best Original Doctor Who Theme. The top 10 nominees are Ryan Formosa for Appleston Productions, Dalekium for Various Themes, Steve Martin for Doctor Who Apocalypse, Olivia Crawford for A Mirror 3, James York for Future Selves, Jack Gydra for the Twelfth Doctor Fan Audios, Psychedelic for the Schalke Theme Recreation, Harry Hudson for Various Themes, Jez Hewitt Music Productions for the 2021 Remix, and Charlie Simpson for Echo's End. And the winners of the Best Original Doctor Who Theme Award is Dalekium for Various Themes and Charlie Simpson for Doctor Who Echoes End. Congratulations. Thank you, Ruben, and congratulations to Dalekium and Charlie Simpson. Excellent themes, awesome stuff. I sound sarcastic, I'm sorry, congratulations. <laughs> art, what is art? Well, according to my votes, they're either hand-drawn or digital. I didn't think about like model making because I'm an idiot. Sorry. <laughs> Here are the runners-up for best hand-drawn art. James Johnson, Antonio Rastelli, Lee Binding, Kellogg, Cornflake, Blue Fruity, JGP Art, Rafe Ski, Doctor Who Adventures, John Stringer, Victoria Kultner, Oliver Chenery, Tom Christensen. I don't know if that was a misspelling. Ryan Applin, Gallifrey Gothic. Valk Zero, or Valco, Izzy Kremins, Hoovian Life, Salem Sound, Isaac Burchill, Abrax, Carolyn Tankersley, Jenny X Vastra, Matthew Lee, Theta Sigma 11235, Jace Walker, Andrew Skilleter, and Ryan Rigby. And to announce the top 10 nominees and the two winners, it's none other than Ace Creeper himself, George Sheard. Deceptively tall man. Hello, welcome to the best digital artist category for the Whovian Choice Awards. I am George Sheard. I'm a Doctor Who YouTuber, and I've done other stuff as well, but we don't we don't care about that. Here are the nominees for this category: Daniel J. Patton, Carrie at Soundsmith Prod, Dave Burgess, Samuel Grant, Good Who Art, Robin J. Hopewin, Vicky at Vixnev, Bo, Harvey Smith, Harvey Who or Three and T Dalek. And the winners are... Is it a drum roll? Oh. I don't know what I'm doing. The winners are Dave Burgess and Daniel J. Patton. Woo! Well done, congratulations. There we go. Thank you, George, and congratulations to David and Daniel. It's a good day to have a D at the beginning of your name. If only my name was Dak. <laughs> Moving on to best hand-drawn artist, and if you can believe it, there's only 10 nominees, I know. I'm shooken. To announce the top 10 nominees and the two winners, it's the fabulous artist, Vicky! Hello everyone, happy Hoovian Choice Awards. I'm Vicky, aka Vixnev. I'm an artist and illustrator, so I'm super excited to be announcing the next award, 
which is for Best Hand Drawn Artist. The nominees are Ten Lyria, Real Floppy Lion, Carolyn Edwards, Connor Adkins, Ian Clark, Ian Branch, Imogen, Yanto Soup, Jeremy Anisio, and Mark D. Lewis. And the winners for this category are Imogen and Carolyn Edwards. Well done everyone and well done to our winners. You guys are amazing. Keep doing what you're doing and sending you all so much love. Bye. Thank you, Vicky. I know it was tricky to jump out of your comfort zone, so thank you for doing that for me. And congratulations, of course, to Imogen and Carolyn. Now, artists, get out of We're gonna do some cosplay, some people dressed sharper than me, if you can believe that. I've got the best thing to start us off. It's the best doctor cosplayers. Yes, doctor, you know them, physicians. They work in the NHS. Oh, yeah, Doctor Who ones. Uh, that's that's also fun. Here are the ones that didn't quite make it in, but are still excellent in their own right, of course. Tom Frost as the 13th Doctor. Mira Black as the 13th Doctor. Yona Kuromotoki as the 13th Doctor. It's a big time to be 13. <laughs> Great Value Garfield. Easily the best name we've had this whole show so far. What Great Value Garfield is the best thing I've ever heard. Master C. Berryman as various doctors. Max slash Blue Boringers as the 11th Doctor. A pretty close second for best name we've heard so far. Fla Tharys as the 11th Doctor. German Companion as the 5th Doctor and Tinny Peters as the 8th Doctor. To announce the top 10 nominees and the two winners for Best Doctor Cosplay, it's two fantastic cosplayers in their own right. It's Anne and Lana! Hi! This is the Doctor. And yes, you can also find us on Twitter as Anne and Lana. We are here to announce the winners for the next category, which is Best Cosplay Doctor. The 10 nominees are Dominic G. Martin as various doctors, James Sutton as the 10th Doctor, Katie Haynes as the 13th Doctor, Grace Beard as the 11th Doctor, William Haler as the 13th Doctor, Haunted Spirit Cosplay as the 11th Doctor, Ellie Collins, aka Tardis Monkey, as various doctors. T, aka Hello Benjamin, as the thirteenth doctor. Isaac Travers, as the second doctor. Aidan Wilkinson, aka Tardis Man, as the eleventh doctor. And now it's time to announce our winners. Here we have two envelopes. Doctor, which one do you choose, left or right? Hmm. Left. So you get the right one. Okay. So the winners are Katie Haynes as the thirteenth Doctor and Dominic G. Martin as various Doctors. Yay! Congratulations! Lots of love to all the nominees. You're all wonderful. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Anne and Lana, looking good. And congratulations to Dom and Katie for your wins. Mwah! Moving on to best cosplay of a companion. You can't have a doctor without a companion. That would be ridiculous. Although it does lead to heaven sent. Hmm. Here are some runners up. That's a new phone. I should not have done that. Daisy Sway as Amy Pond. And Ellie, AKA Bourbon Universe as Donna Noble. Wow, cosplayers really do have the best names, don't they? And to announce the top 10 nominees and the two winners, it's your friend and mine, Bo! No, not Bo Burnham, the, the better one, the artist Bo. Well, hi everyone. Uh, I have the honors to announce the winners for the best cosplay for a companion. And these are the nominees. Abby Louise as various companions. Cat is Creative as Various Companions Little Who Girl as Joe Grant Gretchen Michaels as Various Companions James Sutton as Captain Jack Laura Jane Hunt as Various Companions Stephanie Moses as Various Companions Rose Billing as Rose Tyler Megan Shirley as Amy Pond and Sam Fudge as Clara Oswald 
And now for the winners. The first one, Abby Louise as various companions, and the second one is Little Who Girl as Joe Grant. Congratulations, everyone. Thank you, Bo, and congratulations, of course, to Abby and Little Who Girl for your wins. And to round out the cosplay categories, you can't have a doctor or companion without your misc. No, it doesn't quite work, does it? This could be villains, side characters, it's mostly the master. It's almost all other masters if memory serves. There's no runners up. It's just down to eight nominees, exciting stuff. And to announce the eight nominees and the two winners, it's none other than writing Ella. It's Ella. Hello, I'm Ella, writing by Ella, and I'm here to announce the best cosplays in the other category. But first, let's have a look at the nominees. So we have Brian Cooper as the Weeping Angel. Dominic G. Martin as the Master, James Burgess as various characters, Jude Lovus as the Cyber Leader, Lauren Lee as Madame Vastra, Lucy C. World as the Master, Rory Dobson as the Cute Dalek, and Stephanie Moses as the Master. All fantastic cosplayers, I must say. 10 out of 10 to all of you, uh, but there does have to be a winner, or in this case, two winners, because we have two winners for this category, which are, drum roll please. Thank you. Rory Dobson as the cute Dalek, and Brian Cooper as the weeping angel. So congratulations to you both, uh, and I'm sure you will see me tweeting about Doctor Who soon. Thanks guys. Thank you, Ella, and well done, Rory and Brian. Sorry, I know I shouldn't show bias, but Rory! Sorry, I have composed myself. Much like the winners of the best original Doctor Who theme and best original score composers. It's quite funny. We're going to now move on from cosplay. I know, I like cosplay, you like cosplay, but do you know what else we like? Bloody well, podcasts! Fun fact, before starting the community show, I did not know how many Doctor Who-centric podcasts there were! <laughs> so imagine my surprise when I saw how many runners-up there were for Best Doctor Who Podcast. <laughs> Let's go through them, shall we? They're all valid. Again, that sounded sarcastic. It's true, they are all valid. The Who Reviews slash Spill Your Beans Podcast. The Overton Audios Podcast. To Watch Who. The Who Cares Podcast. Pieces of Eight. Lucas Out Loud, PDE, Power of the Spearhead Experiment, A Hamster with a Blunt Penknife, couldn't do that with a straight face, On the Time Lash, <laughs> what, who is coming up with these awesome names? An Awful Lot of Running, Gabe TV, Film Me In, and The Trap One Podcast. To announce the top 10 nominees and the two winners, it's none other than the bringers of joy, Doctor Who Adventures. Hello, it's Christopher and Lewis from Doctor Who Adventures, and we will be presenting Best Podcast. There are some awesome Doctor Who podcasts out there, but let's see which have been nominated. The nominees are... The Review of Death. The Who New Podcast. Bigger on the Inside Podcast. Galactic Yo-Yo. AMTV Radio. The Super Circuit Podcast. TT Whovians Podcast. Two Heart, a new Who Podcast. The Watchathon of Rassilon. And Reversing Polarity. And the winner is... The Review of Death and the Who New Podcast. That's right, we have a tie. Mass congrats to the winners. The work you guys put in this year has been outstanding. And a massive shout out to all the nominees. You're all... Brilliant! Brilliant. Thank you to Doctor Who Adventures and congratulations to Review of Death and the Who New Podcast. Both excellent listens, but only one of them has had me on. So you know where my vote went. <laughs> Semi-linked to best podcast, best host. I'll say it once, I'll say it again. People put my name down for so many things, but I removed all of those votes because that's cheating. Come on now. The runners up are Tom Mason, Adam Martin, Mark Bray, and Harbo Holmes. And here's the specialist of guests to announce the top 10 nominees and the two winners. It's none other than my girlfriend Gemma Whittington. Hi, I'm Gemma and here are the top 10 nominations for best host. First up, it's Josh Carr for the Who New Podcast. Next up, Mr. Tardis for his live streams. Then it's Tim and Harry for their Bigger on the Inside podcast. Then it's Tim and Harry for their Bigger on the Inside podcast. Stephen McCullough for their spoilerific reviews. And Molly Marsh for her Galactic Yo-Yo podcast. Josh Schneers for his documentaries, and Billy Garrett John and Matthew Toffolo for the review of Death. 
then Planet Adam for Doctor Who Reviews, and George Sheard for his Doctor Who Reviews, and finally Sam Davis for Broke Cannon. And the winners are... Who? Josh Snares and Sam Davis. Woo! Congratulations. I only know George Sheard. <laughs> I told you you had to dance. <laughs> no, no, dance. And who else did I know? The other one? Matthew Toffolo. Only because I like the Oscars. We're nice. very nice, aren't we? <laughs> yeah. And the nominees for Best Picture is La La Land. <laughs> Thank you, Gemma, and congratulations to both Sam and Josh. Well deserved on both accounts. And finally, the sort of whole reason I put this thing together, the Community Spirit Award. The community show helped to unite the fandom in a way. I, I like to think so anyway. I met some amazing people through it, and it inspired me to do something for them. This is for anyone in the Doctor Who fandom that has helped spread joy in some way. And the nominees certainly reflect that. I will be hosting this one all the way through because I'm allowed and I. Let's start with the runners up. Alliance Cinema, Russell on Productions, Josh Carr, Louis Morehouse, Bo, Gary the Word, Doctor Who Poop, Aaron Burley, Luke Lane, Eighth Doctor Best Doctor, Andy Dobson, George Guidera, The Dimension 5 Podcast, Little Who Girl, Whovian Life, Antonio Rastelli, Adam Martin, Sean Levy, Jade Knight, George Sheard, William Who, Writing by Ella, Joe Eddings, Nerd Den, Jed T. E. Rhodes, Millie McKenzie, Gallifrey Gothic, Tharys, Ereditorum Press, TT Productions, Mark Bray, DW2012, Josh Snares, Ewan Hoyle, Ivy Hanover, Dr. Humor, Matt Chambers, Nicholas Payne, Beth Axford, Sess K. Says, Rebecca, aka Rebecca TV, and Sebastian Brown. And there are all the runners up. There was an incredible selection of people there. But here are the top 10 nominees Dominic G. Martin, Katie Haynes, Callum Houston, Alia E. Torrey, Mr. Tardis Reviews, Doctor Who Adventures, Who Mysterio, Ellie, aka Tardis Monkey. Billy Garrett John and Matthew Toffolo for a review of Death and Doctor Who fun page. And the winners of the Community Show Spirit Award goes to Mr. Tardis Reviews and Doctor Who Adventures. Congratulations to the pair of you both very much worthy of the Community Spirit Award and congratulations to all previous winners of every single category. And well done, of course, to all of the nominees, whether you were runners up or in the top 10 or what have you. Well done. Someone out there thinks you are worthy of an award and really, that's the real prize. But there was one more award. The joke one. But before we do that, here's a word from Tardis Man, AKA Aiden. Howdy folks, I'm Aiden. Most of you probably know me as the Tardis Man. I make pretty cool TARDIS models. Um, I just wanted to say a large thank you to Jack for giving me this opportunity. And um, go check out everyone that was nominated and everyone that's featured in this video, as well as everybody that's been mentioned in the Hugh Community Show. Jack has really done something big here and has brought the community closer together. So uh, massive props to him, dude. And uh, I hope you're all uh, doing well and have a wonderful rest of your day. Enjoy. Oh, Aiden, you little sweetie. But if you did your voting, you would have noticed a strange one at the very bottom. Best Jack Reeves. As said, people kept putting my name, most of them jokingly. So I compiled all of the joke answers into one category. Let's see how that went. <laughs> For Best Jack Reeves, ah, oh. Back Beeves, Jack Reeves, Rack Jeeves, Brain, Mac and Jeeves. Ask Jeeves and Mac and Cheese. How dare you all? <laughs> if you are one of the people that put any of those joke names, shame on you. But also they gave me the biggest belly laugh. <laughs> and the winner of Best Jack Reeves goes to... Jack Reeves! Hooray! 
Really? I was betting on Ask Jeeves or Mac and Jeeves or really any of the joke ones. Really? Just my name? But I gladly hold this award in my hand. Thank you. I want to thank the Academy. And there ends our show. Thank you, thank you, thank you to all of the fabulous guest hosts. Give them a hand. Give them a hand. They did this out of the kindness of their heart. So thank you a million to every single guest host. Thank you to everyone who nominated. Thank you to everyone that voted. Thank you to Joe and Luke, especially for helping me create the damn thing. Thank you to Dr. Blue, who inspired me to make this. And thank you to all of you at home watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in 2022. Farewell. <laughs>